tuned in to Mark, Mark After Dark. After Dark. What's up, guys? The Mark got the dark. <laughs> you want headphones? Okay. Um, <laughs> I was going to say, because last time, remember, we had to force you to put the headphones on. Yeah, that's so, my eye. It's, okay. It's more better this time. Okay, so. good, good, good. We're excited for this one, you guys. Unless I have never been stopped in the middle of the intro. That, that's, 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 I guess that's episode four. <laughs> <laughs> like, woo! Ooh, ah, the so, as you guys know, we have the infamous EJ here. Shout out to EJ. Welcome to Lamarck After Dark Part Welcome 2. Welcome back. That was, that start was fun. It was. Yeah, it was fun. It was a little bit. Oh, we also have Chelsea. Shout out to Chelsea. We have the Chelsea Thank in the building. Guys. Thank you. Thank you for having me again every episode. <laughs> right. <laughs> so EJ, first off, how are you doing mentally? Right. How are you? How are you? Uh, I'm since good. the last time. A lot, ha- a lot has happened since the last time, but <clears throat> I'm chilling. Like, you know, you just got to realize who your friends are and your circle and you know stuff like that but mm-hmm. that's just about it okay oh, good. yeah what about y'all chelsea i feel like <laughs> i'm doing good i feel like i'm coming out of like a stormy place mm-hmm. in life and mm-hmm. i'm starting to see the sunshine yeah, a little more right that's now. exactly what i yeah. mean like once you remove all that mm-hmm. it's just uh it's so peaceful yeah so that's just what i've been doing i like that that's growth because I remember last time you was like, uh, uh-uh, we out, we outside, we outside. I'm outside with everybody. Like, if you want to be there, you're there. And then now you're like, no, I'm protecting my peace. I love that. That's that's true too. I didn't, that's growth. I didn't you didn't think, think of that. that. But yeah, mm-hmm. I'm, like you can't be too friendly, you know, because people mm-hmm. take advantage of that. And but yeah, okay. Mentally, I've been cool. Like, I've been living life. I've been trying to just be a better version of myself. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I feel like. Life has been life in, but, you know, the devil is a liar. Mm-hmm. So, he is. And I have beef with being broke. So, you know, I'm going to keep Agreed. pushing and do what I got to do. Um, but, yeah, so, EJ, mm-hmm. we wanted to bring you on. But also, we didn't want to just focus on, like, you know, the obvious OnlyFans shit. But yeah. we wanted to just, you know, the, the episode of Ty was more than sex. Because, like, you, you are more than sex. And I feel like sometimes people forget that OnlyFans or just for fans, stars are just, like, just sex. And that's not, like, their own image. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I feel like... Kind of, you know, opens it up. But um, but before we get to that, I guess we can start the OnlyFans. But like I did say, you know, I kind of want to do the OnlyFans first so we can kind of get that out of the way and mm-hmm. then kind of focus more on EJ as a person. Um, so for those who that, that do not know you, what is your OnlyFans about? What is my OnlyFans about? Mm-hmm. How would you categorize um, that? <laughs> like, like, yeah, um, yeah. I mean, I told y'all last time when I came here, I said um, when I started, I was showing more like, you know, news and my dick and shit and then i made myself like i said when I, once i hit two hundred thousand, that's when i'm gonna show me sucking dick you feel me so and then yeah so you see my page but um my only fans is mostly like oral um nudes of myself threesomes and um yeah ass eating shit like that okay all the things that people love to see really yeah okay we're here for it. Chelsea, have you ever subscribed to an OnlyFans? I feel like me, I can't be... I haven't. What you say? I've never subscribed to an OnlyFans before. But I support all the Twitter content, okay? Do I don't like Twitter? that, though. I don't like that, yeah. though. Not you, but I don't like that, though. Like, somebody come up to me and be like, oh, I've been watching your Twitter for free, for years. I'm like, okay, did you at least subscribe once? Right. Did you send me a dollar? Some of them, yeah, they do. <laughs> but, but I get turned off once I find out that you've been mm. watching my stuff for years and you couldn't even... $12. This is $12. You feel me? Like, But yeah. I, my shit have, need to go up, actually. My price need to go up. Ooh. Yeah. Do you ever have the issue of you feel like being lusted but not respected? Say it again? Do you ever have the issue of feeling like you're lusted but not respected? No. Mm. No. You feel like you can, you have the power in your hands, really? Um, Not end. like that, but I just feel like I'm in a good position. You feel mm-hmm. me? Like, I don't bother nobody. Nobody bothers me. But I mean, they do. Sometimes they do be drama. But, yeah, if you stay in your lane and you bo- if you don't bother nobody, it's good for you. And that's just how I feel for me. Mm-hmm. It works in my advantage, especially since I've been doing it for so long and people are just starting now. People just started yesterday. Today, I've been doing it for a man long time. So people know that and they give me my respect that I deserve. Mm-hmm. And it's not even about, you said lusted or, say it again, ask your question. Cause Feeling lusted but that was not a good respected. Question. No, yeah, sometimes I do feel like that, though. I do feel like that sometimes. 
Because I know, like, personally, like, even just in radio, like, I feel like sometimes I, it's not, I'm not respected as a personality because of where, you know, I'm, I, feel, I feel like where I'm not where I want to be. Mm-hmm. So I feel like I know that you am sure go through the same bullshit of just life because people always have something to fucking say. They mm-hmm. do. And it's so annoying. But it's weird, though, because I feel like with contricating and stuff, I just feel like it's different. Like, I can't explain it. It's just different. I feel like it's different. Do you have any content friends? Right. I'm sorry, Chelsea. No, go ahead. It was going to be around the same oh. question. Yeah, like, wh- like who do you kiki with? Like, who do like you who's your like, group? Right. right. Who do you feel like people really understand My people you? are my fans, my supporters. Mm-hmm. That's what I try to talk to. I say good morning. I try to interact. I give them free trials. I give them, you know, I'll be like, oh, I'll follow you back. I I don't really talk to a lot of people in um, content creating because, you know, all they want to do is just use you and stuff like that. And mm. You can't use me. Like, I got more followers than you. Like, it's just no, like, what are you going to do for me? Mm. Like, I'm going to retweet you. Okay, what is that doing for me? Right. What is that for, for me? Let's do a video together. If you don't want to do a video, then that's on you. But, yeah, I don't really talk to a lot of people. I don't really talk to a lot of people. Mm-hmm. That's fair. I um There was a situation with a um, content creator, and I'm not going to show you her name because I'm just not, but... It was a situation where he filmed a, a scene with somebody and the person felt like their face wasn't going to be, like their face was in it, but they didn't think their face would be in it. So they asked the person to take it down and they felt like, well, no, like you're already, you're kind of in it already. So like, I felt like, EJ, what is your thoughts on that? If you have somebody who, um, I guess, kind of like reneges the situation after it's already posted. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Um, I mean, that happened a few times, but me, I'll be like, okay, like there's a million people, other people in the world. Like you want the video taken down, it's taken down. Like, like, why would you want somebody else to masturbate to something that you don't got no permission? Well, you did yeah. have permission at the time. That's what I'm saying. You you fucked the person. Now you're like, oh, I don't want the video out no more. But you can't take it back. You feel mm. me? That's why I feel like, but I'm, I'll am i do it. Like, if somebody tells me, I have guys tell me before, like, take it down or whatever. I'm like, okay, I'll take it down because it's not that serious. I can make more. Mm-hmm. But some people really be like, no, we're not. I'm not taking it down. And I just feel like if somebody wants something taken down, just take it down, you know? Right. They may have, like, their feelings changed about it, obviously. Like, I won't feel good promoting it mm-hmm. if the person don't want it. You feel me? Like, right. it'll, it'll just be bad. Like, that's bad business, to mm-hmm. be honest. Like, who the fuck else going to want to make a video with you? Like, right. You're just out here violent to people. Mm. Yeah, it was a person on um that was on OnlyFans, and he was kind of saying, well, fuck it. It's my, like, it's, it's my uh, video. It's my money. So, like, I'm not taking it down. And they were kind of going back and forth. I saw that, but it was a straight guy. Mm. Oh no! It was somebody. I'm not. Yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll talk. So there was camera. a there was a straight guy. He posted a girl's content. And she was so mad about mm-hmm. it. And she was like, "I didn't give you permission." But he's like, "Bitch, I paid you four thousand dollars to do the video." Uh, so how do y'all feel about that? Right. He paid her four thousand dollars, and now she's saying she don't want the video on Twitter. Was there like a contract? Yes, yeah, she's. I don't think it was a contract. Actually. Okay, <laughs> because you know nowadays even a text consent a te- of a text is a contract can still like legally yeah. be used as such. So if you agreed and you received payment, so that's what I'm saying. They so do then, do that. They do give you, um, you know, like okay, let's do yeah. a video. You do it, and now now uh, then you I gotta receive that payment back. If I get the payment back, sure, <laughs> I'll take it down. Yeah, it's it's, 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 it's because a very then it's situation. because then it's business. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because you signed off on this, right? Versus like if there's no you know no agreement at all, then okay, that's different. Like you're yeah. just uh, it's out of nowhere, or you and that person didn't plan it, and they just kind of verbally agree. Mm-hmm. Then yeah, take it down, of course. Mm-hmm. But if, if it's business and you're a part of a bigger thing that's going on, and they paid you for stacks, well. The next video, they might forget about yours. So they do, like, yeah. like people just scroll. Like it's, it's not as deep as people think. Nothing is deep. Like I don't know. I just that's why well, me. I, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> I was say, what is deep? What the but no, 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 is deep. no, 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 Nine is deep. Well, the only thing deep is my throat. Ooh. You know that. So I'll give that. I'll that's give that. A, I know that's right. right. Thank you. <laughs> I'll give that. I'll give that. Like, and I just want to say this too, y'all. I have on the same outfit. I do not care. We're recording this back to back. I Period. just want to put that out there. I don't. I had a long day. Same fit. So Chelsea, right. I wasn't gonna blow you up. I was just gonna just like do like a you know kind of even it out. So that way no, because they're gonna mm-hmm. see. And I'm, no, I, I'm putting myself out there. Okay. So you can put this in the intro yeah. <laughs> if you want to. Intro. No, I'm gonna let it rock. Intro. <laughs> because listen, I ain't got it today. But um, okay, back to what we were talking about. Mm-hmm. Okay, I, I, that's my stance on it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If if we sign a contract and it's business and there's payment, no. If we didn't and it's just a different situation, then absolutely. Yeah. That person has every right to not want that on it. 
I guess like for me, like so let's like, say we have an interview and like the person we have a really great interview and the person wants to like cut it. So like mm-hmm. now what? You know what I'm saying? Cut what? Cut it? Where they like, paid? Cu- Where's their contract? Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If it's business, that's different. Yeah. Mm-hmm. In that case, it was business. Right. Mm-hmm. So you're upset about something you signed off for and got paid for. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So some people don't see four stacks in a month. You got four stacks in a day. I like that quote. So pick your pussy up. <laughs> anyway. Pick your pussy up. <laughs> Let's move forward. Moving, moving forward. So, EJ, I did want to touch on the boxer situation a little bit because there was a situation that happened with you and this guy. And um, what do you, what would you like to say about it? I'll give you the floor. What I like to say about that. Yeah. Is, um, hmm. I like to say that I'm still cool with him, and I like to say that it's not what it was. You know, social media makes shit bigger than it was, man. It was pages. It was coming from pages that follow me, like mm-hmm. just T pages that T pages that I never even wanted to be on. You feel me? Like it was just where you watch one of those gossip pages and hope you never on there. So, um, they made it bigger than it was. That shit had like one million views that tweet, but, um. It was um, like concerning what you said. Mm-hmm. Like, it was, it was agreed. We both agreed to it mm-hmm. and all that. And yeah, that's just what it was. It wasn't no exposing. I never ever exposed anyone before. Um, that situation made me look. It made me look bad. But then when I give people like the receipts and see, they're like, oh, "Okay, so you didn't expose him?" No, I didn't expose him. I didn't. I don't expose nobody. People know what I've been doing for years. So if you decide to wake up one day and do a video with me, you know what's gonna come with it. So that's just what it was. Mm-hmm. And that's about it. Yeah, yeah. I thought you were talking about it because you kind of you could have just said fuck it, but mm-hmm. I really do appreciate you coming up here and you know clearly. No, I up. can't say fuck it, especially when I be outside. I be outside. I be outside like in the hood. Like you feel me? Like and people like even my guys. I like to fuck with DL guys, you know, and <laughs> and I like to fuck with DL guys, and you know, some of them came out to me like, yo, I'm scared now. Like, bro, you expose me, but don't expose me next. And I'm like, it's never that deep. That's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Like. The person I am, I don't take, like, it's not that deep, bro. But, yeah. You, like, shooting cool. with the DL guys or just, like, just in general? Like, that's, like, your shooting preference? Shooting what? Like, shooting content with them or just, like, just your preference? Just my preference. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Why is, what what about that is your preference? Do you feel like they're just more low-key with it? Like, you prefer a more low-key person? Yeah, they're just more low-key with it, and you know. But it gets hard because I can show up my phone right now and this bitch calling me right now, his girl. Like, oh. it gets hard. Like, she's like, why, why are you still calling me? Blah, 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 blah. I'm like, bitch. Oh, yeah. That's a tough one. And it's hard. Because <laughs> y'all don't understand, y'all. It's hard. Like, it's hard. Like, being watched by everybody, your friends, right. family, the girls, the guys. That's it's okay. Hard. So, how do you how do you deal with that? Like, how do you, does that ever make you feel a way? Because, or do you feel like you're so detached from it and that person mm-hmm. is just a good, t- okay. Yeah, because some people think I'm so attached to it, but mm-hmm. I am, like, whatever you just said, I am like that. Does like, that I don't take it serious. I'll just be chilling. Um, but yeah. So then what about real love for you though? Real Outside love, of the I you tried, know. I told y'all last time I said mm-hmm. um I I got a relationship in twenty twenty or nineteen. I remember that stabbed, was traumatic for you. Yeah, so ain't nobody focused on that right now. I'm making money off what I'm doing, yeah. you know, and shit like that. And I'm just chilling, to be honest. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. I feel that. Yeah, I feel, I feel it too. Mm. So what are your goals for the future? My goals for the future, um, hmm. I feel like I got so much in me, like, what I want to do, but I just don't know what I want to do yet, to be honest. Um, but, yeah, I just know there's so much that everybody could do. You could do, you could do, you could do. Anybody could do. There's so much in this world to do, but I just don't know yet. I'm yeah, just yeah. focused on what I'm doing. And right, I'm and you're stacking so that you're ready for Yeah, and I'm just chilling. Yeah. But what what are some things that you do love, though, that you can just think um, off the top of your head? I love, like, I'm creative. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm creative. I'm too creative. And that's why I've been good. That's why I've been marketing myself good. And that's why I've been every year I like to try to rebrand my shit. And um but I don't know, like, um, what's it called? Um, graphic design. Mm. I like graphic design. I like editing my videos. Like, you know, I like shit like yeah. that. And that's different. That's a, that's you yeah, know, I'm working. Mind. I'm the one. I'm I'm not paying somebody else to do my videos and edit my videos. I do all that myself, you know. Mm. And um, yeah, I just yeah, I don't know. Controlling your narrative too at the And I like time. music. I like music too. Like you could find me at a festival. You could find mm. me at concerts. It's That's easy true. to find you, me there. Didn't you have like music, a floor seats music. for Drake, the last Drake? I did. And you went and you, you went, went to Beyonce. I did. But I'm gonna tell you, I went to I went to her um, movie. 
And I was so mm. mad and go to the tour. I was See, so remember mad. when you was talking? Ooh, I was he talking was talking that cash shit. money. Cash he was talking money? cash money. That's what we said where I'm from. Okay. Like and, the same and, thing as you was talking shit. And, and, and <laughs> the the documentary movie was it was wonderful. Like, Amazing. Wow. And then Amazing. people oh, were like sweet. they were sleeping on it, but I didn't go. I thought it was long. Like almost three hours is a long time. But oh, it was almost three hours. Yeah, it was almost three hours. Oh wow. I, I paid attention to everything. I was mm. like, but Drake's tour was fire though. It was mm. fire. And Tati's excited over there because <laughs> shout she, Tatiana in the back. Tati's going to Drake, the new Drake concert that's oh, coming up. One. Did you buy your tickets? No. Where is it? Like he's going to places that he said he never hit before. He would never go to the mix. Yeah. He's, it's the cash app link. It's whoever they sponsor. So he's doing Buffalo and UBS. The, the, oh, UBS, oh, UBS, UBS and Queens. Queens. Whole time I thought it was the Jersey, but that's not UBS. That's um. He's doing one in Queens. Yeah, I gotta go. Arena. I did it. Yeah, it's right there. Right. Cut it, please. Trust. If you are, you, he's gonna be there. He will, How much he'll the find though? his mm, Beyonce prices. Mm, yeah. And wait, listen, yeah. who do we pay Beyonce prices for? Beyonce. Yeah, I don't know. that's it. Mm-mm. I started a whole savings account for her. Like it was, it was a yeah, whole. Yeah, a yeah, separate, yeah. So, so you went though. Savings. You went though. Oh yes, I went. How was it? It was amazing. That this was my favorite because that was my fourth Beyonce concert. So this was my favorite one. And I told you, I said. I never saw Beyonce before, so I feel like this would have been a good concert mm-hmm. to go and see her for the first that time. That would have been the perfect the intro. album, the Vogue in order. I love it. I love it. It was like a party. It was literally like going to a ball. She yeah, threw her own up. ball. It was my first ball. Every- yeah. Honestly. Like, it was uh, <laughs> It was a time to be alive. Like How everybody- was the fans? Like, when you went with the fans, they were Vogue in, they were I, feeling, everybody was I feel was family, like everybody was, was just, family. when you're there, you know you were there for the Renaissance. And we yeah. were all just ready and in line, like, ready to go. In formation. Mm-hmm. Like it was a good vibe. Yeah, was a good vibe. everybody a was on a good time. Yeah. By the end of it, we were all kind of like in a trance of like just taking in all of the, what she just did. Mm-hmm. Like this bitch really just did all that. Except the bitches that take people's seats. Like that's uh, such a fucking seat, bitch. You know, it's like. And a then seat. the ones who wouldn't mute when she said everybody on mute. Uh, <laughs> shut the. F- <laughs> like come on. So EJ, we did have some fan questions that people asked me oh, to yeah, ask you. Oh yeah, these were good. Um, I only picked like three because they were they were getting you know a little out of control. Yeah, so I, yeah, because <laughs> yeah, I, I'm gonna just say skip if it's some stupid shit. Okay, but it but was. I, I, I appreciate everybody though. You feel me? Like, who has? Asked the question. What, what? Who has the biggest and smallest dick you ever sucked? Um, I'm trying to think. Wait, I'm trying to think about the smallest. Um. <laughs> you want to answer biggest? the biggest? Yeah. <laughs> biggest? Biggest, yeah, I'll answer biggest because I'm not gonna do my man like that. Um, the biggest, um, um, the biggest, like a consecrated. Damn, what's his name? Let me check real fast. Now, what's like Chelsea? Jagger what's... Rambo. His name is Jagger Rambo. Oh, and he got like a fucking twelve inch. Like that shit is just thick. Oh, you gotta oh open wow. your mouth. You feel me? You gotta go like, and it's big like that. Yeah. Ooh, how did you feel after that? Were you sore for after that? No, nah, I wasn't sore. Okay. <laughs> okay. It wasn't my whole, it was right. my mouth. No, that's what I'm saying. Like, was your mouth nah, sore? Nah, nah, my mouth wasn't sore. Okay, because you know. This. I do this. Okay. okay. To freedom! <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, speaking of freedom, have you ever met Nicki Minaj in person or were you able to exchange words with her? Yes. Yeah, I was. I met her in 2010, Pink Friday, her first CD sign in. It was cold. I stood outside for like 10 hours. You had to like wait. This is when you had to actually mm-hmm. buy albums in the store, Best Buy. Best, Best Buy don't even sell albums no more. You can't even go to Best Buy and get albums anymore. But yeah, I saw her and um, I went with my mother because I was, how old was I? I was probably like 17. I don't know. But I was, I have a strict, I have a strict mother. So my mother came with me and then I just remember what I remember from it was my mother was like, oh, I just, this is my son. I get, um. I brought him here to see you, and she was like, "Oh, thank you for bringing him out." You know, and she she called my mother beautiful, and she was like, um, "Yeah, that's about it." And then I saw her like two times after that, and then she followed me on Twitter. She knows her fans like that by through Twitter and stuff, and she'll talk to them. I love and it. I'm one of them who, mm-hmm. yeah, she knows, and she follows my other page. I got two of them: a nasty Twitter and a fan Twitter, mm-hmm. and she follows the fan one. And yeah, it's always been love. Oh, I love that. Well, this is going to be fun for social media. Um, it sure is. Question of the night. Do you feel like sex has become the most important thing when dating? I don't date, so I don't know. I don't date, so I don't know. I want to say for this generation, 
Yes, it's, it's about how it's about optics and it's about sexual things. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. for sure. Yeah, because you're, you're not gonna fuck with somebody who got a small like, mm-hmm. dick, right? Would you, Chelsea? No, that's tough. She said no. Oh, no. I I've, I've been in. I don't want to call nobody out. I've been in that situation before where it's like I'm so sorry. It's just not but what's work. small? <laughs> Six. If inches. if you're giving. I'll I'll say four and below. Four okay. and below. That's yeah. I'll, okay. If five, I think five is pretty decent. Okay. Five six. That's pretty decent. You know, I'm not gonna. I have no complaints about that. All right. Listen, <laughs> you know, a three inch pussy. Those of you that don't know, uh, women's vaginas are about three to three and a half inches long internally. So we really don't need all that dick. I can confidently say I did not yeah. know that. Yes. So <laughs> the, the girlies that are taking more, they're doing a lot of internal things. So I just want to say that. Anyways, let's move forward. <laughs> okay. I guess we can go right into Mark's Corner, right? I, I like Chelsea. I that. like Chelsea. Like, she's lit. The Mark's Corner. Where I answer all the questions you guys send me, advice, shade, all that good stuff. Yeah. Okay, guys. Question number one: Do you get mad if someone you like rejects you publicly? Absolutely. Rejects you publicly? Yeah, yeah I never had that happen. Yeah, I never that. had that happen. But no, absolutely not. That would definitely that'd be devastating. Are you kidding me? I'm leaving immediately. Immediately. Because I saw on Twitter somebody shot their shot to somebody and they rejected them publicly. So how like, they rejected oh, them publicly? Oh, you mean like regular shoot your shot? Mm, I've never done that. So. You never shot your shot? No. Oh, not publicly. I've had like, okay, if I like you, I might flirt a little bit, but I'm not going to be like, hey, what's up? Like, I want that dick. Mm. I'm not that girly. Mm. Gotcha. I like to be chased. I don't really do the Mm. chasing. (laughs) I hear you. All right. Well, that's right. I mean, I would I would feel a way about it, but I'm not going to get it like a whole pissy face. Um, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to keep it a stack. Um, Sometimes I hit people up, you know, for collabs and shit, and they'll dub it, and then they try to come back Mm. three months later, and I'll be like, ah. Right, you like still flopping. Oh, I'm not helping you now. Mm. I'm good on that. I don't even want it no more. You out here making videos of everybody you washed up. Oh, oh wow, washed up, crazy. Yeah. All right, I, I, like, like... <laughs> I, I like exclusive. Right, you should want somebody. I, who's and exclusive, authenticity right? and exclusivity is nice. Yeah. I mean, people probably say that about me, but yeah. <laughs> Have Girl. you ever? Have you ever rejected people who wanted to work with you? Yeah, of course, every day. Oh, <laughs> see. Mm. But yeah, it's just because like like. Like, you got 5,000 followers. What are you doing for me? Mm. Okay. But the big ones, too, yeah, they, yeah, I do, I do, I do. I just feel like timing is everything, you feel me? And I don't I don't express that to them. I don't communicate well with them. I don't tell them, like, yo, maybe in the two months we can do that. Mm-hmm. I'll just ignore it. Yeah, I'll just ignore it. I'll just ignore every. Five. But have you ever doubled back, like, when the number does go up? And you're like, oh, oh their followers went up. So No, because it still don't compare to my shit. So, no. Well, <laughs> there we have it, bro. No, that's right. And on to the next on the docket. <laughs> Do you feel like it's important to discuss your body count with someone you're just dating? No. no. For what? That don't even make no sense. For what? Yeah, I don't think it's... I, I feel like you shouldn't really know my shit and I shouldn't know yours unless like it has to come up. I feel like you, the STD talk, we talked about that on the last mm-hmm. show, that should be talked about because right. like Good. that's important. But, I feel um, like that should be talked about. I feel like if you bisexual and you fuck guys on the low... That should be talked about too. Like it's you know, not. I just feel like yes, it's not gonna what? be talked about. They're not gonna talk about it. They're not. I know they're, they're not. I'm saying not it should. Say it. I know they're not. But it should. You sh- you should have every, you know, like oh damn, I'm bisexual. I like guys too. You know, he should give you that. Mm. You shouldn't have to go through your phone and I find person- him on Twitter watching my video. I personally That's do weird. agree. I would want to know that my man is, you know. But Chelsea, would you date a bisexual man? I spoke about this. Okay, me a year ago would say no, but me now is like it depends on that person. But yeah, I would I- if I'm really digging that person. Mm-hmm. Yes, I would. Yes, I would. Tatiana, but if I'm not the, dealing with the them, y'all gonna be having threesomes. Like, Personally, I'm not into that. that. <laughs> because I fight, and it's like I, you, you, what you touch him for like that? Like I'm very territorial. Yeah, mm-hmm. and that's my yeah, thing though too. Is like, like, how do I compete? Like, I can't compare. Like, mm-hmm. I can't compare. And it would really hurt me you know if I saw you really looking at a guy. <laughs> See, and you that talked about hurt. we should. Uh, mm. It's not. It's not easy. I don't think personally, from my experience with men, that they're gonna be honest with it because of the um, they feel like they may be judged, mm-hmm. so they're just gonna keep it, you know, to themselves. I'm sorry, but if we're gonna be together for real, like you are my nigga, like you're my man. Come on. Like, I need to know that information because I need mm. to be able to decide if, you know, like, I we that transparency should be there. That friendship, that bond level of being able to express that should be there. If it's not me and you can't be together. 
that's not on that. I mean, I feel you. Because I'm going to be open about who I am mm-hmm. and what I'm mm-hmm. into. So it's it's got to go both ways. Um, I think I asked this question last time, but I'm not sure. You only, well, I think you said you only like guys. You don't like girls. I I find humans beautiful. Me too. Everybody do. That's yeah. not what I ask. I find humans beautiful. <laughs> That's not what I ask. I mean, I think men and women are both beautiful. and But I do prefer uh, men. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm. okay. Um. Next question. Have you, have you ever been in a situation where you've been instantly turned off during sex? Yes. Same. Would you like to elaborate? Mm-mm. Okay. PTSD. <laughs> but yes. EJ? And it ended immediately. Um, to be honest, yeah, I think so. I think um, the guy started, he like pulled the pipe out and started doing drugs and shit. And that just threw me off. Was it Coke? Oh. Um. I think it was. I think it was some shit like Tina or some shit. I was oh. like, "Bitch, I don't know what that is." Like, "Bitch, I'm good now." Like, you, you could go. And mm. He left. Yeah, no, that yeah. was like, like that's just weird. That Mm-mm. was just weird. Mm-mm. I mean, take whatever you want to say, cope how you want to cope, but don't don't do that around me. You feel me? Have you ever used poppers? For I, me, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, What's that? <laughs> What's that? Oh my god! <laughs> this is always me. Like, what is easy? Oh <laughs> shit! What's that? <laughs> okay. <laughs> So poppers is sometimes it is like it says nail pop. What it says? I thought it was like something used for cars, and that you just sniff. I mean, it's like a feeling. I don't know exactly what the fuck it is, but I do know that when you use it to kind of open your hole. Okay, up, I know what it is. No, yeah. So yeah, um, you it's like a little bottle, and you sniff it, and it smells like. To um, me, sometimes it smells like fucking gas you know, or like, some shit. No, like, I don't no. know. Like, oil like you know or the something. marker. A yeah, sharpie. The yeah. marker like a sharpie, but a strong like nail polish. Mm. So you, when you go, it just gives you like lightheaded and more like it opens you. It's supposed to open your oh. um anus up yeah. more. So, but I don't get fucked, so oh. I don't do that. So yeah. I feel like it just makes me more like, like bitch, open my throat up type shit. Mm. Like, <laughs> okay, so it's just it's like a aphrodisiac. It's like an en- enhancement, I okay, guess, in a sense. Yeah. So like oh. like like let's say like what does a vape do? You feel vape don't do nothing. We just smoke it because. Yeah, that's the same shit. It's the same shit. Mm, okay. Yeah. So, all right. What turns you on the most about the sex you're attracted to? You go first. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's kind of hard because man. you said, "Wait, you said what attracts me about a man?" Yeah, pretty much. Just everything. It's bro. unfortunately I'm a personality girl. So like, if I'm not digging your personality, nothing about you is attractive. Okay, you can be but the when you first see world. him, like I just, I just walking down the street, what would draw you to somebody that you're attracted? Like, mm, Sempaku eyes, like big eyes. eyes yeah. Okay, I, I was gonna say eyes too. Yeah, eyes for sure. Yeah, like I saw this guy. On the I feel train. like that's the first thing we look at. Like eyes, bitch. Like I saw this guy on the train, and it's not about the color. It's about like how the, the shape. Like I love like a big. When people have that extra space around their eyes and their eyes are just really big and they kind of draw you in. Mm-hmm. Like, there was this guy on the train who looked just like Brent Fias. And I was like... You and Brent. God, He's this not man that good is fi- looking. He's ugly. Whoa. Whoa. Brent, the guy in the r Here we go. Here we go. The <laughs> like, Whoa, Here we go. I was real respectful. And don't he be breaking <laughs> bitches' hearts and shit? I don't he know. does. He's really toxic. We broke up a few times, but... Mm. We're back after the concert. <laughs> I just couldn't help myself. I was like, wow. And the vocals, the mic was on, people. For those who talk shit about Brent's vocals, the vocals are there. See him live. And who's the other one? Is The other guy's name is Javon? Javon? J- Giveon? Who? Oh, oh Giveon. Oh. oh. He's handsome, but he's... He's another one. Yeah. I like lips. I feel like lips and... Lips, um, too. And dick. All right. Hey, hello. That's, that's, right. Part it can't be four. It can't be four that's inches. That's part two. Yeah. It can't be four inches, that's you said. That's part two. That shit gotta be... <laughs> Nine inches at least, or bigger. You got these. Wait, wait hold, hold on, hold on. on. Right here, like, right here. So wait, hold on. Your limit is nine inches, EJ. Oh, he wait. lying. He lying. <laughs> he know damn well. He know damn well. He'll take a five or a six. Go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I said right here no. to the camera. I said right That's here. That's crazy. That reminds me of your mom being like, oh, I can't oh, yeah. watch this. Oh, yeah. See, we're cleaning this witch up. Damn it. Oh, no, y'all got me talking about how, yeah. well, I got myself talking about how deep my throat is. And she's like, hi, nephew, on the live. I'm like, oh. 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 <laughs> no, it, it came through. It came through. All right, That's let's crazy. keep it clean. What's up next? All right, we'll be on the last bonus question. We asked this in the last show, but um, I guess we'll ask EJ too. Do you want your man to have pubic hair or get it waxed? Oh, yeah, we did discuss pubic that. Pubic hair. A guy shouldn't shave. Really? Mm-hmm. 
Right. Yeah, I mean, yeah, because I need a trim. But, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, because I never, like, 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 I'm hairy as fuck. Like, this is not mm. a lot of hair, but this is how it is, like, on my legs, on my mm-hmm. asshole, on my, yeah, I just never shave. I feel like, I don't know, because I don't want to say guys shouldn't shave, because, you know, I don't know, but I just feel like I never shave. Nobody mm. around me ever shave. I mean, trim, yeah, trim, trim is cool, but Harry makes a man. That's what a man. Why you want him to be waxed like you and shave? I don't mind if a dude shaves down there. I really don't. I got waxed twice, but that shit hurts. I can't do the, the ball part, which is yeah. a lot. Like, it was a lot for me. So, like so you like, you're like, you like clean, shave? Oh, no, I like it either way. Just don't be, like, too, too hairy where I'm like, <laughs> like, poking on it. You know, like, you I didn't get that on camera. <laughs> wait, wait, give me a second. <laughs> No, that should turn me off. I stop after that. I'd be like, you could jerk off. You could jerk off. I'm good. That's a bit much. So a nice trim, or I don't mind if he wants to shave. That's it's your pieces. You do what you want with your body, okay? I if I'm with you, it's because I'm rocking with everything about you. Yeah. So oh man, this episode <laughs> is wild. Um Do you feel like cooking. you ever been with a DL guy? I probably have. I feel like everybody has. I probably have, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're gonna because she over here letting guys shave and shit. Like, what's up with that? Let's make it no, DL. God better be hairy, but yeah, I don't want you I don't just like a more you like that manly. masculinity. Yeah, I do, I yeah do. you like a nice machismo. I do. Yeah, I mean, we have like the the fun questions for every guest, but I feel like we kind of answered like the love life. Yeah, oh, the freakiest thing you ever done last time. EJ said, um, what was it? Uh, what did I say last time. Mm. It was a bukkake. I think that's what it oh, was. Yeah. I didn't do that yet. You said you wanted no, I said to. I want to do that. I Did haven't you? yet. Oh, still haven't. So it's still on your list. It's still on my list. And okay. I want to see get it done by. But, you know, it's the holidays. Like, I'm not thinking about posting right now. I'm not thinking about giving my fans new content. The most I'll do is make my only fans free for, like, on Christmas or some Aww. shit. I might do that because I've been slacking. But it's the holidays ain't mm-hmm. nobody beasting like it's the last three weeks of the year like I'm not beasting to make content mm-hmm. or nothing so that's gonna have to wait till the new year okay. well, this is gonna come out next year so the fans listening right now are gonna be fucked so <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is <laughs> so, get all the new content. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna get I right like into that. so I need to hurry up and do that shit Chelsea it's that time ooh, 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 ooh. it's time to kiki about what happened this week WTF Hey guys, welcome to What the Fuck Happened This Week. By the time you see this, it will be the new year. And we were just talking about it. So I just want to hop in. What are some of the major goals or the things that you just, even if they aren't major, because I feel like the little things are still big. Mm -hmm. What are some things that you're looking forward to or that you're working towards in 2024? We don't have to call it a resolution. It's just doing better for ourselves in life. Mm -hmm. What are we doing for ourselves in 2024? Um, I'm not giving a fuck about certain things and just really putting my mm-hmm. step and where I'm going and like being more in my confidence in my bag because like at the end of the day like I am that guy for period and uh, you know you what I'm are. saying so I feel like I need to really hone in on that and really find true genuine happiness you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying I feel like I thought as a long time happiness becomes with success and money and fame and all that bullshit but happiness is what you have I feel like when all that shit kind of dies down. So that is what I'm trying to obtain and find. And just be fucking happy. Life is so shitty at times. And I feel like it's about finding people that really fuck with you and also not taking everything too seriously, not taking mm-hmm. life too seriously. Yes. You know, like you only live once, allegedly. Um, <laughs> allegedly, right? <laughs> I like that. Because so, I low-key feel like we still survive. Mm-hmm. But yeah. yeah, so that's 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 mine. Okay. Mine's... um. Yeah, we out of New York. Let's move out of New York. That's mm. what I want. I'm out of New York. I'm tired of New York. I've been here all my life. But New York is me. Like, New York is just like, yo, I was outside this weekend, and I was just looking at my bitches, and I'm like, yo, like, we so get on ratchet. Like, I love it. Like, if I move somewhere else, it's not going to be the same. You mm-hmm. feel me? It's going to be more. Maybe Atlanta. If you actually know, the girlies would love you in the South. So, you do fine in, like, Atlanta, yeah, Miami, Tampa, Houston. Like. You would do great there. I hate Atlanta. But I don't want to. I don't want to do that. The girls, yo, I went to Atlanta, and I was just chilling. Got a section by myself. I'm by myself. I'm dolo. I'm always by myself, dolo. Tell me why two gay guys just start fighting right in front of me, and I'm like, damn, like I'm like, yeah. And that's and how then it is. they they like to jump over there, like they all like clicked up over there in mm-hmm. Atlanta. So if you don't know nobody, they over there they're gonna jump you. So. Mm-hmm. Oh!
Yeah, Lamarck. The ghetto. Can attest yeah. to not liking it there. Yeah, I didn't like it because I just moved there for a job. I didn't get the job. And then, like, the people were very, like, mm, they, when they didn't like people from New York, they were like, oh, you're from New York. And I was like, yeah, I'm just. Oh, they don't like a, people from New York? I didn't get that vibe. But it's just very, like, it's undercut shade. I hate undercut shade. Like, if you're going to be shady, be shady. Mm-hmm. But, like, it's like the. I remember I had a dinner with um all these, like, I was celebrating my so called friend's birthday. And one of his friends was just being stink. And I was, like, asking people signs. And one of his friends was like, oh, you're a sign person. And I was like, I am. And I was then he was just like, oh, okay, okay. Like, but it's just like, but like he was trying, I guess, trying to get cute. Mm-hmm. And it's just like I hate when like bullies try to like out bully. Cause like, sweetie, on my worst day, like, don't, don't do <laughs> it. Cause like I try to be my humble bag, but like do y'all see behind me? Like, I don't like, <laughs> Me too. Like, like yeah. please don't yes. <laughs> act correct. So, so so where you from? So where you from? I'm from Queens. Queens. Okay, so, shout out to Queens, New York. No, because um, I feel like, like so, yeah, like the the key to the key to social media is, I don't really tweet my opinions. I be low key. I be quiet. Like now, I've been starting to tweet my opinions, and I like I see like the like they get crazy when you tweet your opinions. Mm-hmm. Like you can't say the right thing. So, um, yeah, I just feel like damn, I forgot what I was gonna say, y'all. <laughs> yeah, because you was really about to get into yeah, it. I was, I was, like, oh, this I was, gonna was. Be good. Like, I was about to. <laughs> Get into it. I was about to get into it, but I forgot what you was talking about, so I'm over it. No, that's okay. All right. Well, oh, wait. I just feel like New York, like, we're too real. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, so I be trying to play back. I only use Twitter when I want to post my videos and shit, you know? So they don't really know me. They know me, but they don't really know me. So then when I violate somebody, and we could get into this. I really want to get into this real fast. I got a question for you. Okay. How do you feel about trans, gender, female? Uh-oh. Because I got in, yeah uh oh because I got into an argument and some dumbass man tried me so then I replied back like we like New York we're too you real you feel me we're real they don't expect it so I'm like bro I don't call anybody who just throws a wig on and wears makeup a female they over here getting mad and they're like oh why you um you know trans and some of the trans females that I follow. I'm like, no, I know real bad bitches in real life. Like, I know what they go through. I know all the shots and all that. I know everything. But you can't just call anybody that, you feel me? Mm-hmm. If you throw on a wig and throw on makeup, you can't do that. Right. You gotta at least have titties, have your dick cut off, something. Like, I can't respect it. And that's what I said. And I'm mad real and I'm mad New York. So they was like, oh, they took the wrong way. Started getting tight, but I just went low key until it blew off. But how do you feel about that? Because you're a real woman, you feel me? Right. So I do support the trans community. I believe that you know, if that's your thing, if that's the lifestyle that you'd like to live, that you should have every right to want to do that. I just don't like when trans and misogyny meet each other because that is a thing. There are a lot of trans women that kind of, um, and I'm not saying this is for all, but mm-hmm. there are a lot of trans mm-hmm. women that discredit real women or try to take away from the essence of what we are. And it's like, biologically, we were born to do certain things that they'll never be able to do. Does mm-hmm. that take away the essence of who they are? Mm-mm. No, but also we're not going to sit here and try to leverage who is who and what is what. If you identify as she, her, I'm going to support that. Mm-hmm. But just don't take away Facts. from my womanhood. Facts. So I want you to live free and do whatever you want, but don't come for us. Yeah, so <laughs> that's how I, I feel. So actually, now that, I, now that you said that, yeah, I get it. Mm-hmm. And that's how I feel. But maybe, I, was I wrong though? I think the tone. The tone. The tone, the tone was, was <laughs> aggressive. It's just the New Yorker The tone was you. aggressive. It's the just tone, the New Yorker like, in you. I don't respect anybody who wears a wig and makeup. No, but I hear where you're coming from. Because I get it. They were like, but why are you, tra- but why are you shaming that person? Right, you because know? it was somebody you know, coming from someone from now, else. That person, that person could be the baddest bitch. You could have cities, cut the dick off, like I said, and how I feel. But right now, though, why are you going to jump in my mentions? And why jump in somebody's mentions and you're not going to like the response they give back? And that's just what it is. Like, just watch the Last videos. Houses. Be a fan. Sit back. Once you, once opinions come into it and stuff, that's when it gets tricky. Mm-hmm. And I just be like, damn, man. They try to make people look bad. But... Yeah. When you're coming for somebody else and your stuff is not perfect either. No, people could come for you. But once you come back for, with the facts. Right. It's then like, it's. Damn, that was harsh. Yeah. Why the fuck you did that? Why are you calling her a man? About her? <clears throat> but even still, I do find that just showing that gracious side. Like, I'm not the type who, like, I've had plenty of slick comments come back off of something I posted, and I'm super slick with it. Like, it just really depends. But I'm going to probably find the kindest thing to to respond back in, the, like, the ni- the nicest way. Like, I'm nice not, but nasty. I'm not. I'm not. Yeah, no. If I see rest, I, rest in peace. I don't get anything from going back to if people's If I see level. rest in peace, grandma in your bio, bitch, I'm violating your grandma. Oh, and wow. that's just what I'm doing. See, that's a New Yorker thing to you say. Because you came at me. I didn't bother nobody. I'm just chilling. 
Why are you jumping in my mentions? So now when I respond, now I'm the bad person. But it's like all bets are I'm in the, I'm in the middle because mm-hmm. I've I've done situations like that, so I get where he's coming <laughs> yeah. from. But through therapy, I'm working on me. Yes, and like yes. um, <laughs> yes. I have to stop because that like that anger it does it fucks with you. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And like I can't it have does. that because then and like the wrong yeah. person will get my anger and now I'm in jail. Yeah, so like I just can't do that. I love when you say that every time too. Like when where you've come from to where you're not. You're yeah, like, you're oh, like now I'm in therapy. So yeah, I'm in yes, therapy. yeah, he do. Right? Yeah, I'm I'm not battling about on fucking Twitter. Like fuck, right? Bitch, get a job. Mm-hmm. Like fuck you. Like so. why are you sitting wherever you're sitting, tweeting back to no, me I like about that though. My let opinion. them, bitch. They like, paying me. Let them. <laughs> like, don't what? say. Don't don't don't. Let them. Let them. But it's just don't don't violate me because once you violate me, I'm gonna violate you. And they think like, oh, I'm so nice, and I am nice, but I'm from New York. I violate people. Mm-hmm. Like, that's just how I am. You're a tourist, right? I'm a tourist. Oh yeah. I like they food, don't music, and that's it. And my my business. You violate me, bitch. Fuck your grandmother. I hope that bitch. I spit on her shit, and that's just what it is. And if you don't want to hear that, then don't bother me. But they don't know that. That's what I'm saying. They don't know that because I be, I'm really good on Twitter. I promote. Mo- Damn it, Chelsea! I didn't get that on camera either. <laughs> she said, <laughs> "Don't violate him. <laughs> Just don't do it." Oh shit! Oh, this has goodness. been. This was an episode. This was an episode. Right? We knew it was gonna be. We knew it was gonna be. Yeah. We knew yes, it was I gonna came be. Late, y'all. That's okay. We're happy you still showed up. Yeah. Because we came a long way. This is your second time here. Mm-hmm. So we appreciate you making the time. You came all the way down. Yeah, I like uptown. your energy. Because if it was anybody else, I'd be like, no, bitch, I'm not coming here. <laughs> I'm good. But I like Chelsea. I like you. I man. appreciate that, man. Yeah. I appreciate you for taking the time to really being open and honest. And, um, you know, just being, it's hard to come on any fucking platform and talk about your real life shit. Because that shit is hard. So definitely, you know, round of applause. That's what I'm saying. Like, you never know. Like, when I, when I promote this link, you never know who's going to watch. I got family, friends, haters, this bitch man calling me, this bitch girl calling me. Like, you know, it's weird. Like, my life is really hard and tricky, but yeah. but I, like I said, I don't let shit get to me. I just chill. Like, you know, just, hmm. it's not that serious. If you tell yourself it's not that serious, it makes it better for me. So that's why I just tell myself, I said, ain't, no, ain't nothing that serious. You feel me? Hmm. Any last remarks, Chelsea, before we... Kind of. No, thank you. I'm just happy to have you here again and to see you again and chop it up. It's always a you good gotta time. You got to drink it? I don't, but you we don't? can take another shot. We can take a shot. Give us a we shot. We took one earlier. Everybody want to take, take a one? Shot. Take a shot. Yeah. Okay, oh, we're going to yeah. get this, this shot. Shout out Pink Friday 2. Oh, God, the barbs. <laughs> I don't know how Every they're going to react time. to this. Okay, who do y'all think is worse Bay. for real, barbs or Bayhive? I think I... Ah. I, I, the, I the barbs. The barbs are worse. I... I personally feel like the barbs attacked Normani unprovoked. And I'm going to let, like, I feel like that was fucked up. Like, let's, I feel like no, that was let's fucked not up. Talk about that. Let's not talk about that. I feel like, you Because I like the that? Normani. I was violating that hoe right now. Uh, wait a minute. Wait, so wait a minute. Like wait, that's my bitch. That's my bitch. That's okay. what we. Uh, but wait, you guys, didn't Nikki, thank you for watching go, Lamarck wait, after wait, dark. Wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> wait. But didn't Nikki go on, um, on, on, a, on a, a war show? And say, excuse me. She did. She and, and that's her bad. Too. That's but I, but her working. So with how Cardi, is Nikki a bad person? I never said she was a bad person. I'm but just her saying. Working with Cardi, I'm just I saying. Like, and it's not even so much Nikki. It's the barbs. Because what they said to Normani was disgusting and was fucked up. I and don't know the what they ones, said, but who cares? The that's ones not, that was fucked up. That's, like, my that's bitch. what I'm saying. The barbs impact is crazy. <laughs> like we got that impact. Why does the other fans have that impact? She ain't no diva. <laughs> Wait, to Normani? So much for <laughs> don't, don't do that, Chelsea. We're Norm- not gonna, you know, Normani's good, but the album's Normani's... never coming. The album's never no, no, coming. No, baby. I'm saying in, in, in general, I'm Behan. You guys, thank you for watching the Mark. Don't do that. Don't do that. Normani's coming. Normani is coming, coming. Normani is coming and that's my bitch, and I'm gonna ride for her regardless. <laughs> so, but thank you guys for watching the Thanks for watching. Love you guys. This took a turn, but thank you. I got passionate. Oh, let's take the shot. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. A mess. Yeah.